Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another video. In this video I'm going to show you a tutorial how to perform hard reset step by step for the Samsung Galaxy A11. Without any further ado, let's find out. Now just before we start, I want to make sure you guys aware about two important things. Doing a hard reset means factory reset. You're going to lose all the data on the phone, like contacts, pictures, etc. In addition to this, if you have already signed to a Google account on the phone, right after the hard reset, you will need to use the same Gmail account and a password. Other than that, you will be locked with FRP activation screen. Now in this tutorial, I'll show you two different ways to do the hard reset. The first one, if you are able to turn off your phone. The second one, if you're not able to turn off the phone. If you are able to turn off the phone, so go ahead, power off the phone, just, just like that. The battery is not removable, so it won't be able to remove the battery and take it off and turn off that phone that way. So go ahead, turn off the phone if you are able to. Now what you need to do, press the volume up key and the uh, power key at the same time actually. Once you see Samsung logo, you have just to remove your finger from the power and keep hold in the volume up. And then you should go to the bootloader menu and then you will perform the hard reset, which is I'm going to show you later on in this video. Now, if you're not able to turn off your phone, I'm gonna show you different tutorial. We're gonna add additional step and then would be actually the same thing. Now, for instance, I do have here a pattern, fingerprint, password, whatever. If I'm gonna try and turn off the phone without actually unlocking the screen, the phone won't turn off. So you will have difficult time actually to turn off the phone and it's gonna make the process a little bit harder than the normal step. But don't worry, we're here to show you actually what you need to do. Now first we need to reset the phone and then we need to do the same step I already explained to you before. Now the first step, it should be power and volume down key okay and then the phone is going to restart once the phone restarts you're going to actually feel vibrates to the phone and then you have to remove your finger from both keys and then press the power volume up and then when you see the Samsung logo remove your finger from the power and just keep hold in the volume up so let's go ahead and do it step by step the first one volume down and power key the phone is going to take about five seconds to restart the phone restarts remove both put both power volume up remove my finger from the power and just hold on the volume up here we go so and then we should go to this main menu once you get right here, you will see some options. We don't need actually to read and look to all of them, but you need to understand the uh, to navigate through this menu only is going to happen through the volume up, down key and the power key. So what you need, you need just to go to wipe data factory reset. To select, you have to press the power key. So go ahead and then you will give you another warning and then just go by the volume down and select factory data reset press actually the power key to select and then the phone is going to actually format the phone and then you have to press again on the power key reboot system now normally the process it might take up to uh, five minutes or so and then the phone is going to go as brand new as the first day you purchase the phone just be aware about the google account other than that you need to search on FRP videos how to bypass the Google account that was very much it for that video I wish you guys find it helpful thank you so much everyone for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos in the future and I will talk to you in the next one